Hey, salut friends, and today we are taking a look at Cologne Officinal from the brand of Healy. This was a 2023 release created by James Healy, obviously for his eponymous brand. He is apparently an English perfumer who was influenced by Ani Guttal and then got into the world of perfumery. The brand has been around for more than a decade now and uh, seems to kind of fly under the radar and does not get discussed a lot, especially for their price and quality. They are all traditional French style perfumes with that throwback vibe but still done in a modern way. So far I own Mont Fresh, Cardinal from the house. The others like Hippie Rose, Silmarin etc I have enjoyed but just not really my vibe. But the quality is there, very simple, clean, straightforward, fresh scents from the house. This one Colonne Officinal piqued my interest when I heard it was a tribute to Marseille which is a Mediterranean port city in the south of France. Reason being, I lived in Marseille for a couple of years in the past. Additionally, this was a collaboration between James Healy and an entrepreneur named Olivier Amselem, who owns a concept store called Jogging in Marseille. It was supposed to evoke the image of jogging in this coastal passage called Corniche, John F. Kennedy, which is like a ledge extending into the Mediterranean Sea, of course, in Marseille again. Lots of locals hold that place in very special regard. I myself have been there quite a few times. Uh, Oliver also happens to be a photographer who is not an international star or something but locally recognized I think. He has even made this promotional video for this fragrance and even released a version of the bottle called Jogging named after his shop. The second inspiration are the Kelonk which are these beautiful rocky inlets in Marseille and then the third being the mix of occidental and oriental culture which the city is very well known for. Now how does this one smell? First things first this one is not a cologne by concentration as it says in the name. It is in fact an EDP extra concentration and it's not at all based on citruses. It is more to convey the style of a cologne I think the officinal part I looked up and it's supposed to be a reference to medical preparation related drugs, herbs and such which have a healing quality to them. Now this one opens slightly tart and tangy. I suspect there is lime, lemon, bergamot or sorts in there but not mentioned in the official notes. But they don't last for more than 5 minutes or so. There is also a fresh basil note which leads into the heart of the fragrance. Probably some galbanum in there, intensely green bitter, resinous and balsamic nuances to it. Then this leads you more in the green direction when you get a combination of aromatic herbs, sage and rosemary. This very much reminded me of Herbe de Provence which is a popular ingredient from the Marseille area again. Apart from being aromatic they also have this fresh spicy quality to them. In the mid this is joined by lavender which is again slightly inky, scratchy herbal kind of lavender with some medicinal touches. The lavender again being a nod to the Provence region near Marseille. Reminds me of these bath mixtures that you find at herbal shops. Now the structure that really brings these notes together is a very noticeable soap accord. This is not your modern moisturizing creamy glycerin soap. This smells more like an Estier expensive vintage 70s kind of a French soap I would say. And once again, this is a nod to Marseille being a popular soap manufacturer, especially this type called as Savon de Marseille. I even have one here. This is pretty much how this accord smells like. It definitely has a density to it, like no airy quality, no gaps or spaces in the smell. Comes across very opaque, like you just had a thick lathering of soap and just let it dry. Also has this waxy, lightly crumbly, crushed crayon like quality to it. There is also this tangy savory quality throughout the wearing of this scent. Now as you go through the dry down in an hour or so it gets quite dry which is another reason to say it's not your typical cologne. And the much heralded vintage base note which was lurking in the background takes over and that is the oak moss. Not sure how he was able to put in such a prominent oak moss accord in here now with it being heavily regulated and all but it is very much noticeable here. It comes across earthy, lightly sulfuric, fungal 
on the aspect that connects it to the Marseille theme being that slightly beachy seaweed and pungent facet which is quite a departure from the mundane tropical beach fragrances which we are bombarded with on a regular basis. It also does not wear into your stereotypical chest hair animalic sheep direction more so done in a clean modern fashion. Now as you enter the far dry down it gets even more dry the scent profile itself does not change much the mossy quality gets more prominent. There is a very slight ambery touch in there, which does not come across like benzoin, vanilla or labdanum. More of this nondescript, smooth, neutral, woody amber smell to round off all those aromatic notes. Maybe even some clean white musks and vetiver in there too. They call this base as amber oriental, which does not come across in that style and that prominent to me. This musky, mossy, aromatic, soap drying out kind of smell is what you get till the scent wears out on your skin. So for me, the main scent profile of the fragrance is a combination of these three parts, I think. That is the Air de Provence, the Marseille Soap Accord and the beachy, mossy, woody base. Now coming to the performance, it is average, lasts about six hours or so on me with more of a moderate projection. I even spray some on my clothes and get this soapy wafts, which is nice. When I first sampled it, I was expecting this to be a summer fragrance from the marketing and also from other Heelys, but it kind of subverted my expectations. This could actually be a year around fragrance, I think. Maybe not peak summer as it has that prominent oak moss. Comes across traditionally masculine leaning for me. Now, what do I think of this? I really enjoy this. It is what I like to call as an integration fragrance, wherein it clearly takes a lot of bits and pieces of your 70s, 80s, mossy, masculine colognes and does its own spin on them and modernizes them. I really like the contrasts here, fresh to dry, mossy earthiness to soapy clean, keeps my interest throughout the wearing, smells classy with a throwback vibe. It is simple, humble, almost not trying to be overly complex, have too many transitions, fancy notes, or interested in shaking up the industry. It is just simple, well made, and does well what it sets out to do. It is a nostalgic fragrance for me, reminding me of several things from my younger days. My granddad used to be a hotelier and used to bring these soaps when he visits us. It reminds me of him, for instance. Also makes me think of crayons that I used to collect and uh, cause of that waxy, soapy texture, smell and so on. Obviously it reminds me of my time in Marseille. Apart from that, another main reason why I appreciate it is because we just do not get many fragrances like this at all. As the boundaries between what is generally considered niche and designer gets more and more blurred, the spectrum of these popular big niche brands has moved so much to the designer side that they are pretty much making expensive designer scents at this point, which is of course their choice and a lot of people seem to enjoy them. But it is good to get something like this now and then, which is not going to appeal to everyone. Don't get me wrong, it is not particularly challenging or anything, but it is for a certain group of fragrance lovers who enjoy this modernized throwback scent profile which is pretty much what niche used to be before these popular niche brands went all out mass appeal, making less and less interesting sense. On top of that, the price, this one is cheaper than pretty much all your high-end designers and frequently with discounts of 15-20%, you can even get it for less than 100 euros, which is a lot of value for a niche fragrance of this quality I'm really enjoying this one and uh, as of today could be my second favorite release of 2023 after Heaven Can Wait from Frederick Mall and definitely deserves more praise, I think. So, there you go, Colon Officinal from Healy. Thanks for watching, until I see you with another video, take care and ciao.